Yo, what is happening, my 3D peoples? I thought this would be quite a cool tip to show you. So we're working on getting our live spout image sent from OBS or whatever into Unreal. But say you wanted to project it not just onto a flat plane, but onto something like this, you know, a sphere or the inside of a cube, you know, project the image around there, around a curved wall, you know, things like this. Um, I thought it could be really useful to just show you how I would go about doing that. And I'm going to use the example of this curved LED wall, but you can take this logic, apply it to pretty much any shape. You could do it onto a animated person if you wanted to and have this live feed going into Unreal and projecting onto a UV map image. It can go for anything. Mad possibilities of this. Let's go on with it. Yeah, in Blender, we can just do something like create a cylinder, scale that up a bit, move it up to here. Yeah, nice. Uh, edit mode, delete half of the faces. Oh, switch this on to, switch this on to x-ray, delete all of those edges. Nice, okay, so we got this curved surface. Take that off x-ray, looking nice. Delete these two vertices, that's cool. Might be a bit too curved. Uh, or it might be, let's, yeah, let's keep it like this for now, it's pretty cool. Uh, and what you can do is go shade smooth, so awesome. Um, uh, now I want to UV unwrap this in a nice way, so let's look at our UV editing. So nice, this has already got this quite nicely UV unwrapped. We want it to be this flat image, so that's pretty cool. I've just had a revelation, basically, that this will probably work. I think this will work. So yeah, you got your cylinder thingy, your curved LED wall screen, bad boy. Maybe scale a bit, scale it a bit out like that. So yeah, that's... Tasty. Uh, when you're unwrapping it, good thing to do probably a UV editing. Let's make this source image 1920 by 1080 so that our UVs are linked to that size, you know. Boom, revelation. Can you snap this to the edges? Oh, absolute grid snap. I think that's it. Yeah. So nice. Now any image you load onto this, that would be a flat 1920 by 1080 image that will be projected across these planes perfectly. You might still get some stretching and stuff because this is not 1920 by 1080 itself. But if it's somewhere in the right area, probably look alright. So yeah, we got we got that. We got our UVs. Um, this is all set up. Yeah. Let's export this. And FBX selection only. Down here, you want some smoothing. Face smoothing, I reckon. Let's try that. Curved LED wall. I'll just call this one 1920 x 1080. So let's see if this works out for me. Um, and let's chuck our new curved AD wall in. Import that. And let's go back to our... Let's just try use the master one. Because this texture target that's coming in, this is... Oh, it's 1280. Mm. Oh, is that going to mess everything up? I think it is. Oh, so that's 1280. I should have checked that before. Let's see what happens. Chuck that on there, and you know, in my OBS, let's start streaming out. This might be a little laggy, but I might do this from another source usually. Okay, the piling and stuff is different. I'm gonna I create a new material from my receiver. That one, I'm gonna create a new material from that. Cool, try this out instead. Yeah, nice. So that's how you get, that's how you get it to fit perfectly to your object. You just set your UVs beforehand. Set your UVs to be the, the UV, the UV, the UV plane that everything's based around is the 1920 by 1080. In this case, you know, the 1280 scaled up all right. So that's how you get your UVs perfect. Obviously, you can go through the first technique of uh, editing the material to scale it, but that's just a quick thing I found out that, you know, I just thought, oh, if you set the UVs to be 1920 by 1080 or whatever aspect ratio your original is yeah then it will fit perfectly and snap without having to uh, edit the material after and i'm just going to load in something cool as a demo and use this thing up here yeah let's just set the spout filter for that and whoa beautiful uh we could look at uh, some of the material stuff we've looked at already if you add some emission to that it's really cool oh look at that play on the walls 
Take two. Hmm. Delish. And yeah, there we have it. Awesome LED wall. You can see the shadows and stuff are dynamic. So if you've got quite a reflective material, all these shadows are going to be there. You could do that with the screen onto your face. Um, depending on how shiny you are as a character. Loud.